Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ang Agham! Our topic for today is about expressing the concentrations of solutions. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng concentration? It means the ratio of the amount of solute to the amount of the solution. We can also look at this in this way. It is solute over solution or solute is the solution. There are different ways to express the concentration of solutions. First, we have percent by mass. Percent means parts per hundred. To get the percent by mass, we use this formula, percent mass equals mass solute over mass solution times 100. For example, if we have 5% by mass sugar solution, it means we have 5 grams table sugar in 100 gram solution. Where did we get the 100 grams? Kasi nga, percent by mass, we will use the parts per 100. And it can also be interpreted as we have 5 grams sugar solute over 100 grams solution. We have a sample problem. What is the percent by mass of a salt solution prepared by dissolving 6 grams of table salt in 50 grams of solution? We need to know what is asked. What is asked is the percent by mass. What is or are given we have 6 grams table salt which is the solute and 50 grams which is the mass of the solution we need to get the percent by mass right what is the formula again we have percent by mass equals mass solute over mass solution times 100 since we have the values of the mass of the solute and the mass of the solution we just substitute and replace the values. Percent by mass equals 6 grams table salt over 50 grams solution. We cancel out the units and we are left with 0 0.12. But we still have times 100. So we multiply 0 0.12 by 100 and we finally get the percent by mass which is 12%. Another way of expressing the concentration of solutions is the percent by volume. Para lang siyang percent by mass, but we use the volume. Percent means parts per hundred. And the formula to get the percent by volume is percent by volume equals volume of the solute over the volume of solution times 100. If we have a rubbing alcohol, with 30% concentration, it means that meron siyang 30 ml isopropyl alcohol to 100 ml solution. Or you can also have it this way. We have 30 ml isopropyl alcohol to 100 ml solution. Let's have a sample problem. What is the percent by volume of 25 ml alcohol in 120 ml solution? What is asked? We need to find the percent by volume. What is or are given? We have 25 ml alcohol, which is the solute, and 120 ml, which is the solution. The formula to find the percent by volume is percent by volume equals the volume of the solute and the volume of the solution times 100. Since we have the values for the volume of the solute and the volume of solution, we just substitute percent by volume equals 
25 ml alcohol over 120 ml solution. Then we cancel out the units and we are left with 0 0.21. Since we are looking for the percent, we need to multiply it by 100. The answer is 21%, which is the percent by volume. In alcohol, the degree proof is usually the one used to identify or to express the concentration of alcohol. To find the degree proof, we just need to multiply the percent by volume by 2. We will use 2 times percent by volume. So in our previous sample problem, we just multiply 2 times 21%. So our degree proof is 42% for that sample problem. We also use parts per million or parts per billion when the amount of solute in the given solution is very small. To find the parts per million, we use this formula. PPM equals mass solute in the unit milligram and the volume of solution in the unit liter. To find the parts per billion, we use this, PPB equals mass solute, which uses the unit microgram over volume of solution in liters unit. To assess yourself, let's have a short quiz. Just remember the formula and analyze the problem properly. You may use a scientific calculator if you want, but these problems are very easy. We need to know what is asked. What is asked is the percent by volume. Ano ba yung mga given na mga values? We have 20 milliliters of ethyl alcohol and 500 ml wine. The formula to find the percent by volume is volume of solute in which in this case is 20 ml ethyl alcohol and volume of solution which in this case is 500 ml wine. Then we just cancel out the units. We are left with 0.04, which needs to be multiplied to 100 to find the percent by volume. The correct answer for this item is 4%.
Ano nga yung hinahanap sa problem na to? We need to find the percent by mass. Anong values ba ang given? We have 12 grams of sucrose, which is the solute, and 72 grams of solution. To find the percent by mass, we use the formula. Mass of solute, which in this case is 12 grams of sucrose, over the mass of solution, which is 72 grams of solution, times 100. We just cancel the units, and we have 0 0.17 which is to be multiplied to 100 to find the percent by mass. The answer here is 17%. Ano yung inahanap? We need to find the concentration in parts per million. The given values are 2 liter sample of water and 700 milligrams of nitrate ions. The formula to find the parts per million is mass solute in milligrams over volume of solution in liters. At given yung dalawang values na ito. So we just divide them. We have 700 milligrams over 2 liter solution. And we have the answer. We have 350 milligrams per liter or 350 parts per million. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode. We hope that you learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!